Well, I mean, you know, kickers, I'm sure everybody's wanting to know about a field goal kicker. So, I mean, that's been a really good competition with Vito Cavaruso and uh, Matthew Shipley. You know, it's, it's, they've had their ups and downs. I mean, they've had some perfect days and they've had some days. Uh, but I, I think part of it for particularly Shipley being new here is just – particularly when you get in the stadium, you know, you get, get on this north end zone, the wind's a little bit different where these tunnels open up and he's kind of struggling with that a little bit, but, but I've been pleased with both of them. They both have uh, done well. Um, so on the return, Isaiah is a returner at both spots. Uh, who all might be in the competition with Isaiah? Yeah. If- J- Jalen Braxton certainly in the competition. He, he's been, I, th- I think Jalen's a very good returner, kick returner and punt returner. And uh, Jordan Anthony, the transfer from A and M, uh, we worked him at punt return. I think kickoff return is going to be more of a strength for him. You know, he's uh, has tremendous speed, and and those are kind of our three. And uh, D- Dylan Haas is a kid that's uh, also a punt return force as well. So those are kind of the four we're trying to work around. Uh, how did it come to pass? I guess with Shipley, like how did you identify him and uh, and and bring him in? Yeah, you know, when you you have a guy, you know, kind of, you know, Cam, I was. I kind of in the thought process that he'd be back didn't happen that way. You always have, have to have a plan. So you just start looking in the portal and just see what's available. So you start going through tape, watching tape. And he's a kid that caught my eye. <clears throat> he has a twin brother that kicks at Texas state. I like that, that there's two people in the family that are kicking in college football. So that I, I come across his name through the portal, started watching his tape, got to talking to him on the telephone and just think he's a very, um, uh, a very real person, you know. He's not not a high and a low guy; just very even keel. And I, I like that about his personality. And and uh, had, had had a really good career at, at the University of Hawaii. I felt like you know it's a tough place. There's a lot of wind on the island, and a lot of traveling back and forth. And uh, but but uh, that's that's kind of how I come across him. You do like family kickers, I guess, because Fletcher's yeah. got a brother punting too. Uh, how, how do you think uh, he's progressed? Um, what can he get better at? And it looks like Devin Bell maybe has a little more lag than he had last yeah, year. Yeah, De- Devin's done. Devin's obviously done very well with his punting. Him and Max are having a good good battle. And uh, Sam Dubwig, who's here from Arkansas, has done very well for freshman. Been very pleased with him. In the kickoff world, you know, Vito he kicked here previously. He's done well. Devin Bell's really improved in his kickoff game, which I'm really pleased with. He's hitting a lot of 4-2, four, 4-3 four, hangs. <clears throat> and uh, those kind of two guys there. Shipley's also working that area, but I he, I think he's more of a field goal kicker. You know, at, at the University of Hawaii, he he was a punter there and a field goal guy, which is kind of unusual. But that's kind of what they need him to do. So, for us, you know, he's going to be a field goal kicker and a kickoff guy. Fletcher, like, what do you think? Yeah, Fletcher's done well. I mean, him and Devin, I'm telling you, two very good punters, and they, they really go after it. And we, everything we do, we, we kind of break it up into three categories. We do a charting in practice. That's kind of when nobody's around. It's me and the kickers. We do a lot of that work, but we base the grade off a very small percentage there. Then we do live reps. It's, it's pressure now, right? People are around. we got to do defense rushing. And then the scrimmage reps are, are really high high value. So you kind of, kind of go through those three categories, and at the end of the spring, we'll sit down and talk about each and see see who wins that, that battle for the spring. But, but I think we have really three – Three pretty good punters. I'm pretty pretty pleased with, like I said, with Sam Dubwig as well. And and Matt, Max started out a little bit slow, but man, the last two prizes he's punted really well. You mentioned you thought Cam would be back, and it's not often you see a kicker leave after his true junior year like he has. Just when did you know that you might be needing to look for a kicker? Well, Cam, Cam came to my office, you know, after the season and said, "Hey, I think I want to go be a pro." And he said, "Coach, I just want to be a pro." Now, my my end, I, I felt like you know if Cam came back for a senior year, he had a chance to break all the records by game four. And now he'll leave with one, which I think the percent is the most, you know, uh, most accurate field goal kicker. But but at the same time, I always want the players to be happy with what they're doing and where they're going. And the th- thing about Cam, when we brought him in, Cam was such a confident kid. And Cam's a really young kid. He may be 20 or he may still be 19 right now. So he got here, he's about 16 years old, he's young. But he's always just a very confident kid. And I think that's kind of the way his parents raised him. And I think he came here and had success as a freshman. Like, I think he'll have, have an NFL because he's just a confident kid. And you saw Vito a couple of years back whenever he was here, and now he's back. Just where have you seen him improve uh, as, as a kicker? Uh, still very strong leg as, as a kickoff guy. Field goal kicker, I think he's much much improved. You know, he got here as a freshman. He, he would hit a, a, a great ball. 
and then the next ball might be really wide. But he's just a very consistent field goal kicker now. And when his misses are small misses, not big misses. Um, Arkansas fan, might they be spoiled at how how accurate Cam was? Uh, we might not have seen a better kicker here. Yeah, you know, Cam, Cam was anywhere from 81 to 83 percent every year. And, um, you know, but what I, t what I always tell a field goal kicker, let's be at 80 percent, and you got a chance to be one of the best in the country. If you can hit 90 percent, you're gonna, they're going to be talking about you all the award ceremony, right, Lou Graza ceremonies. But but worst case, we're saying that 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 seventy five to eighty. But yeah, people do get spoiled. I'm I'm spoiled, but I'm hoping I can get these other guys to to be somewhere near near that mark. We know of Broden's skill as a, a gunner. I wonder if there's anybody else who stands out to you, safeties and all, who are just really good special teams guys you can rely on. And who will be the who would be the other gunner this year? You know, I think you do have Broden back. Um, uh, Slaughter, who transferred from Tennessee. Danico, he he's done very well. I've been very pleased with him. Over at the other spot, which we call our end, uh, uh, Jalen Braxton will have a chance to start there. And um, Jaden Wilson's got some reps there. He's been kind of up and down with, with an injury this spring, but but he's gotten a lot of reps there. And um, trying, trying to think who else here. Those are kind of, kind of the, the, the main four. But, I mean, we're, we're repping a lot of young guys. And like Selman Bridges has really come along. He's a, he's a little little bit of a thin kid. I think as he gets in the weight room more, it's going to help him a lot as he works down the field. But I do think we have more depth there than, than we had a year ago. Was Broden did that? Was that one of the better seasons for a gunner that you've been around? That uh, I mean, I was at Georgia. I had some good gunners, and, and at Auburn, we had Sammy Coates and uh, Jones. But you know what Broden did well was he brings great speed. He made a big play early in the year, um, but. And a lot of guys don't know this, but on the flip side of that, he played what we call an anti-gunner. He would hold up the gunners, L1, R1 in our scheme. And man, I tell you, we went back and graded every clip, and he finished the year at 93%, which means he beat the other gunner 93% of the time in every game. So that that was really uh, really a good good thing, and, and I hope to see him continue to build on that. And I think that's going to help his career in the NFL. You know, he 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 texts me after the season. Say, Coach, man, I just appreciate you pushing me on teams. It's it's really opened my eyes and made made me a better player. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank y'all.